Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm here with the Odroid XU4 and I want to do an unboxing and a quick overview. Before we get started, I want to let you know that I reached out to a company called Ameridroid. They're based in California. I'm in North Carolina, so lately I've been looking for a US-based place where I can get my single board computers. And I found it. It's Ameridroid. A few months ago I ordered a banana pie from China. I got the box. I was super excited, I was about to make some videos, and the board was DOA. Did not work, I know how these boards work, and this one did not. In order for me to ship it back, it's gonna cost twice as much than the board cost me. So from now on, if I need something, I'm gonna check Ameridroid first. They have very competitive prices, and I'm seriously not just saying this because they sent me this board. I'm telling you this because I am tired of ordering stuff from China and I'm in the US. So these guys are awesome. Link is in the description. Go and check them out. If you need anything, they got you. Customer service is spot on. With that said, let's see what else I got here. So obviously I have the XU4 right here. Important power supply. This is a 5 volt 4 amp power supply. I'm stoked about this. If you guys watch my videos, you know how I am about power supplies. This one is going to be awesome. Barrel jack. This thing is going to draw more power than the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm not worried about my power bill if this thing gets me the performance I think I'm going to get out of it. I also got the case. Now this is the top half of the case. This is the bottom half of the case. When this is on, everything is accessible. Very nicely built case. I also received a 16 gigabyte eMMC storage module. This will connect to the bottom of the Odroid and you'll have eMMC storage, which is a lot faster than an SD card. Let's go ahead, get this Odroid unboxed, see what it looks like, go over what's on the board, and then we'll move over to the PC and test Android 7.0 out. All right. So first up, we have the spec sheet. All in English, that's a plus. Very cool. And here's the board itself. So I wanna go over the specs real quick. This thing is definitely more powerful than the Raspberry Pi. Now I know a lot of people are like, well, the Raspberry Pi has a lot of development. This board actually has a bunch of community development. I was surprised when I actually saw what's available for this. But this thing has a Samsung Exynos 5422 Cortex A15 8 core CPU at 2 GHz. A Mali T628 MP6 GPU. So I have a 6 core GPU. It supports OpenCL 1.1 full profile, OpenGL ES 3.0. 2.0 and 1.1. Two gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, two USB 3.0 ports, one USB 2.0 port, gigabit ethernet, HDMI 1.4. There's a few other features we're gonna go over. This thing is jam packed. Let's do a size comparison with a couple other single board computers. So first up, obviously we gotta do size comparison against the Raspberry Pi. This is actually a Raspberry Pi 2, but it's the same size as the Raspberry Pi 3. The Odroid is a little bit shorter, but it's a tiny tad bit wider. Not by much, if you can see in that. Not by much at all. Now size, they're right on the same level there. So they're super small single board computers. We have the Upboard, this is the four gigabyte model. The Banana Pi M3, this is an eight core board here. And I'll have to zoom out a bit here for this big boy coming in. This 
is the Yudu Quad. It's a monster. It looks like it's going to be super powerful, but I can assure you it is really not that great. And finally, Raspberry Pi Zero. So yeah, you know the Zero is smaller no matter what. Size, pretty much dead on with the Raspberry Pi, which is really what everybody's trying to go with because it's a perfect size. It's, it's the perfect size little board. So let's go over what's on the board. First thing you might have noticed is the fan and heatsink. Now this is going to keep the GPU, CPU, and RAM very cool. The fan does not come on until the CPU needs it to come on, which is a plus. So if you're sitting there idling, not doing anything, your fan's going to be off. I haven't tested it out yet, but I'm sure as soon as we do any kind of intensive tasks, this fan is going to come on for us. Over on the side here, there's a really cool little switch. What this does is it allows you to switch between eMMC storage or the SD card. So there's no programming involved. You just have to switch it if you're using an eMMC module or switch it back to SD card. HDMI 1.4, our SD card slot, power in, USB 2.0, gigabit ethernet, they say this will run at 888 megabits a second, which is really cool. On the other side here, we have two USB 3.0 ports, power button, 30 GPIO pins, 12 GPIO pins over this away, a serial terminal port right here, and an RTC port here. So we can throw a real-time BIOS battery on this unit, which is definitely a plus. If you look at the upboard here, it also has an RTC battery. Moving to the back side of the board. Really not much going on here except for the EMMC interface here. So this little EMMC module, the red one, will connect right there. So far, Everything's looking great. I love the size. I love the ports that we get. The USB 3.0 is a big plus for me. I'll probably be adding an RTC battery because we have a port for it. You might as well. So Odroid offers a few images. Ubuntu 14.01 and Android 4.4. Eh, all right. So it's an older Android and an older Ubuntu, but when we move over to the community, we have Android 7.0 Nougat, Ubuntu 16.0.4, a retro emulation OS, and there are tons of other community-driven operating systems for this board. So in my next video, I'll probably be going over the CyanogenMod 14.1 image. It looks very promising, but for now, I really appreciate you guys watching. This was just a quick overview. Go ahead and check out Ameridroid. They have everything you need for your single board computer needs. Really good prices, awesome customer service, and like always, thanks for watching.